Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Erin and for today's video, I am only eating new fall releases for the entire day. So for breakfast, I'm actually at IHOP. So IHOP has maple pumpkin cheesecake pancakes and look at how good they look. So it's two pumpkin spice pancakes topped with maple glaze, cheesecake mousse, and whipped topping. Uh, I don't think they added the whipped cream, but that's okay. But seriously, it looks and smells absolutely delicious. And then I did get hash browns, eggs, and bacon because I always like something salty with my sweet. And it's actually really cool because they like put it on the bottom of this. Yeah, so I got a whole feast for breakfast. <laughs> They did put syrup and butter in the bag, but I don't think I'm gonna need either. Hoping I can cut this with the fork, yes. All right. Ooh, look at that. Oh wait, that is so good. The pancakes have a really nice pumpkin-y flavor, but not overwhelming pumpkin. And then I don't really taste much maple, but I don't mind that because I'm not typically like a big maple lover. But then the cheesecake on top, <laughs> that is good. Mm. Okay, I need help deciding on what nails to go with for my wedding. I'll pop up both on the screen if I can. I don't know if it'll be big enough to really see them though. I think I'm gonna post it on my Instagram story. So go on my Instagram. It's linked under every video. And check out my story and vote for which, which nails you like better because I showed Orlando two different ones and I loved the one. It was like an almond tip with like French and then little like pearls. And I thought it looked so nice, especially because my earrings have like a pearl on them. So I thought it would like match really nicely. And he said they look tacky. So I'm like, why you gotta be such a hater? So if you guys could go on my story and vote for which one you like, cause I wanna know if they actually do look tacky or if he's just like extra. <laughs> well, IHOP killed it with their maple pumpkin cheesecake pancakes. They were just so light and fluffy and had such good flavor. I would probably rate them like a nine out of 10 definitely something that I would get again. And for the pancakes, the hash browns, the bacon and the eggs, it was like $13 with tax. So really not bad at all. So if you have an IHOP and you like maple and pumpkin and pancakes, definitely go try it out because I really think it was worth it. It is lunchtime and I am actually at Panera Bread. I know some of you guys hate on Panera Bread, but I love it and it is such like a cold, gloomy day today. So I was really craving some soup and Panera has an autumn squash soup. I've never had squash soup before. So I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not, but I did really wanna try it. And then of course I got the baguette to go with it because who doesn't love dipping bread in their soup? I was debating on getting a bread bowl, but I can't finish those. And if I put it in the fridge, then like by tomorrow it'd be all soggy and gross. So I just got the regular one. Okay. That is what the soup looks like. And then it has, wait, let me Google it. <laughs> I looked and I can't remember what's in it. <laughs> Hold on. 
Okay. It has butternut squash, pumpkin, honey, apple, cinnamon, and curry. And then to top it off, it has a sprinkle of roasted salted pumpkin seeds. So it smells really good. It does smell very, like, squash-like. Let's try a bite. Um, I was really in between this one and the potato soup. I think I should have gotten the potato soup. <laughs> I think what's throwing me off is that it's sweet, which makes sense because of the squash and the apple and the cinnamon and everything. But I feel like my brain wants it to be salty. Well, I think we're making lunch a quick stop today because I don't really like this soup. I mean, it definitely is, like, edible. It's not something where I take one bite and I'm like, ugh, gross, like, can't go back for more. But it is not something I would order again. And I actually don't like that it has the pumpkin seeds in it because it just like adds a weird crunch when you get a bite. For me, I'd probably give this like a 4 out of 10. But I want to know if you guys like it. Maybe I'm just not like a squash person. All right, well, I have to go pick up my ring because they called me yesterday and it is ready and I am eager to have her back. My finger feels so weird without it. So I'm going to get my ring and then we're probably going to have an early dinner tonight because yeah, that's just like ain't it. So I'll see you guys in a little bit for dinner. You guys, I went into the mall to get my ring back, which, okay, she is a Sparkly literally looks brand new, so I'm very excited. Kind of don't want to wear it before the wedding though, because I don't want to make it like not sparkly anymore. But um, anyway, I saw that Annie Ann's just either like came out with or relaunched their almond crunch pretzel. So I was like, oh my gosh, perfect snack since lunch really <laughs> did not fill me up. Um, they only had the pretzel bites in it, but it smells so good. And then I got cream cheese to dip it in. They advertise that it pairs well with the caramel sauce, but then the worker was like, no, get it with the cream cheese. It's really, really good like that. So I said, okay, I'll trust you. And then I was like, hmm, while I'm in here, might as well go into Starbucks for a little pick me up because if you know you know pregnancy tired is like a whole beast of its own and I was feeling it so I saw that they had their pecan crunch oat milk latte and I'm like either the almond and the pecan are gonna pair so nicely together or it's gonna be like way too nutty of a combination but figured might as well try it and see. So this is the latte. Let's take a sip of this first because I'm in, I'm in need of some caffeine. Okay, that is very nutty. It reminds me of their almond milk. If you've ever had Starbucks almond milk, like cold in a latte, you know like what nutty flavor I'm talking about that's what this tastes like even though it's with oat milk it really tastes like a cup of almond milk <laughs> I don't know if it's my favorite I love their iced pumpkin spice chai that has been my favorite for probably the last month or so. Every time I'm on my way to work and I'm working 
up north I have to pass a Starbucks and I've been stopping there every single time um I don't like this more than that but it is good like I said it's just very very almond nutty like almond milk nutty does that make sense I hope so not regular almond milk though like Starbucks almond milk if you've had Starbucks almond milk you know what I'm talking about This is the pretzel bites. Do you see them? I wonder if these are gonna be better than their cinnamon. Hmm. Let me try without the cream cheese. They have a really nice like crunch on the outside. It kind of tastes like candied almonds. If you've ever had like Bavarian nuts, then you probably know what I'm talking about. They're like almonds or I think you can get almonds or pecans. Or at least at the movie theaters you can get almonds or pecans. And then they're coated with like I don't really know, but it tastes like candy. It's like a candy, crunchy, cinnamony, like just really good almond. That's what the top of this tastes like. But then you still have like that saltiness from the pretzel. So I think this is really good. I don't know if I like it better than the cinnamon pretzels. Just because those, those are really good. But I feel like if they're, like, out of those and have these, these would be a nice, like, plan B. <laughs> if you have an Annie Ann's near you and you've been wanting to try something new, I would definitely recommend trying them. I'd probably give them, like, a 7 out of 10. I don't really think the cream cheese was necessary, honestly. Maybe I should have gotten the caramel that they advertise pairs with it, but that's all right. These were still a nice snack after my fail of lunch <laughs> but yeah so I'm pretty full now because I mean pretzels are pretty heavy so I'll see you guys probably later for dinner I have one more stop up my sleeve where I can get dinner aside and a dessert with it so stay tuned for that because it's probably gonna be good <laughs> It's the next day. So basically what happened was I was going to finish filming around the same time Orlando got home from work and we had to try and fix our broken sprinkler line. We had to like dig it up and it was just a whole mess. The line was wrapped in like tree trunk roots and yeah, it just literally took all night. So by the time we were done, I could not finished filming and I didn't want to just scratch the whole video so I figured I would come here for lunch instead so I am at Freddy's because they have a grilled cheese steak burger tater tots and a caramel apple concrete which all sound so good so I already ordered I don't know why but I like to just order and then film This is the grilled cheese steak burger. It did slide a little bit, but it says the mashup of two favorites, steak burgers and grilled cheese. It's made with two steak burger patties, two slices each of American and Swiss cheese, buttery Texas toast, crispy bacon, and a savory tomato spread. Ooh, that sounds good. The tomato spread is like dipping a grilled cheese in a tomato soup. Okay, yum. And then they have tater tots, which these also look really good. And everything smells amazing. And then the caramel apple pie concrete. They also have a pumpkin pie concrete and a pumpkin milkshake, but 
I feel like everything is like pumpkin for fall and I love a good caramel and apple pie and everything and it smells like a caramel apple pie okay let's try the grilled cheese steak burger first that is what it looks like it looks delicious and it smells really good too so let's take a bite That is good. <laughs> I don't really taste the tomato soup, but the steak burger, like it's just the perfect amount of steak and it's so cheesy from all the cheese. Mm -hmm. When you're in the mood for something like that gives off those cozy vibes if you know what I'm talking about this is definitely it all right I really want to try the tater tots but I also really want to try this so let's get a bite of this first and then we will try the tater tots Okay, it doesn't totally taste like an apple pie. You do have like the bites of cooked apple that you get from an apple pie. But I think that there should be like some kind of crunch with it. Like maybe if they did like crust pieces, I think that would be really good. But overall it is very tasty. Okay, tater tots. Mm. These are so crunchy. Okay, I did get ketchup. Let's put some ketchup on them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's definitely the way to go. Tater tots and ketchup, such a good combination. I'm trying to think of what my favorite thing that I got this video was. I think my favorite thing was IHOP. Those pumpkin maple glazed pancakes and I don't really even love maple they were so good like I would go to IHOP tomorrow and get them for breakfast again and then I would say Freddy's this grilled cheese steak burger and their tater tots absolutely delicious I don't know if I would get the caramel apple pie concrete again I'd probably get a strawberry milkshake if I'm being honest but overall so good I think the only thing that would make the grilled cheese better is if is with the extra like tomato sauce not that it needs it like it's not dry at all but I just was like expecting a tomato flavor from it and you don't get that well, I'm going to wrap this video up here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really tried to not just get like a million pumpkin things because I know pumpkin is like what you think of when you think of fall and the fall themed food and fall releases and everything. So I was really trying to like get creative and go to places that had more than just pumpkin on the menu so I hope you guys enjoyed I am sorry that it <laughs> turned out to be more than one day but things happen and 
I adapted the best that I could. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video. Subscribe if you aren't already. We're so close to 4,000 subscribers. I would love to hit five by the new year. I feel like we could totally do it. So make sure you subscribe if you aren't already and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.